With each and every day that passes by, we are not only getting closer to the official release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, but also closer to the official release of the upcoming trailer 2 of this film, that's going to allow a lot of fans to understand the tone by director J.J. Abrams a lot more of Episode 9 and exactly what direction J.J. Abrams plans to bring the Star Wars fans at the very end of the sequel trilogy. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, what's really intriguing about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film is going to utilize many different aspects of the Star Wars franchise that we have never seen before on the big screen. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the plans by Disney and Lucasfilm, this is where things begin to get very exciting for the upcoming trailer 2 of Episode 9. Now, specifically, it's described that one of the big plans by Disney and Lucasfilm for the upcoming trailer 2 of The Rise of Skywalker that is set for release at D23 is that they are currently adding in more prequel trilogy continuity that will be demonstrated in the upcoming footage that is said to make fans nostalgic once they watch the footage. It's said that one popular planet from the prequels will be explored in the new trailer, as well as a demonstration of John Williams' revised tracks of the Battle of Heroes and Duel of the Fates track that will be layered over the shots at D23. Additionally, it's described that Disney has, this, has actually decided to add in more visual teases of Palpatine as opposed to just audio, which would indicate that he would be teased in an obscure way for fans once they see the footage. Now, over a dozen easter eggs in the upcoming trailer are also planned to hold connections to the canon comics and elements from Star Wars Legends from the 1990s and early 2000s. It's also said that a new theme for Luke Skywalker will be introduced with the new trailer footage of Episode 9 as well. So, let's go over a couple of parts about this and why this is very exciting and a step in the right direction by Disney and Lucasfilm. Now, number one, the thing that really stands out to me a lot is how they are planning to insert more teases of Palpatine, visually speaking this time, in the Rise of Skywalker trailer 2. Which means we could see Palpatine in the form of a shadow, or we could see him with the hood over his head with the face blanked out. It could be something as simple as that, where they tease him, but they're not going to show him fully. It's very possible that it could be very well like what they did with The Force Awakens, showing Luke Skywalker touching r 2 D2's head. Same exact scenario. So, in this scene in particular, alright, we do know that Episode 9 as a whole is really going to have a lot of nostalgic moments, and one of the big scenes that they are going to tease in the Rise of Skywalker trailer 2 has to do with one of the iconic planets in the prequel trilogy era that will be featured in the Rise of Skywalker trailer 2 of this film. So, what does this really mean for fans? Well, this means that they're trying to show that this movie is going to be centered on nostalgia, while also mixing a lot of new elements with this actual movie itself, by George, JJ, and Chris Terrio. Now, the other thing that I'm really excited about is that they are all set and ready to demonstrate revised tracks of the Battle of Heroes, as well as Duel of the Fates, by John Williams himself that will be used at a certain point in time in the flash fights for the Rise of Skywalker and other moments as well. And I think the one that a lot of fans are going to be very excited about is how Disney and Lucasfilm also plan to unveil a brand new theme for Luke Skywalker that will be geared toward the end of the footage that will debut at D23. So, what do I think about all of this? Well, I think that this is definitely going to be a step up from the first teaser that we got over at Star Wars Celebration in April, not too long ago actually, just a little over three months at this point. And a lot of fans are very excited to see what the new trailer is going to offer and what it's really going to look like on the big screen once fans are going to be able to see it live at D23 and once it also hits the internet on, you know, many different websites out there. So... On top of all of this, we do know that the marketing is very important in, in during this month of August. Now, July, they did a couple of marketing moves where they unveiled the Sith Troopers and they unveiled some of the books that are coming our way and a lot of other elements at San Diego Comic Con, right? But aside from all of that, we didn't really learn too much about the actual marketing of this movie and what they plan to do. Where in this scenario for episode 9 at D23 is when they will be going all out. And before T D23 is when they're going to start ramping up a lot of teases. So expect to see quite possibly some images dropping on the internet or the official synopsis. We do know that that's going to actually drop on August 23rd, a day before as well. 
So you can see how they're lining a lot of things up here to really hype up the fans leading into September, October, and November, just before the film releases on December 19th of this year. We're not that far if you think about it. We're only like four months and change away from the release of Episode 9, where fans can finally see exactly how this massive saga is going to wrap itself up by J.J. Abrams. And I will say that I think a lot of fans are just very, I guess hopeful about this film, but at the same exact time quite worrisome of how J.J. is going to handle it, which is fine. You know, everybody has their own feelings about how these movies are going to end, and let's just hope that it's going to be for the best, and that J.J. is going to mark it down as the best of this current trilogy. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.